You can use the wireless power glitch in Fallout 4 to connect objects in settlements without wires. And in this video, I will show you how you can do that. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. In order to use this glitch, you will need to have access to a settlement that everyone should do. And you will need to basically be able to build stuff. So you need some resources to be able to build power generators, um, some pylons, power conductors and wires. So what we're going to do is go ahead and build a power generator. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and build this power pylon and this is important. We're now going to go ahead and build a power conduit and you will need to be able to connect the pylon to this conduit and it's important that you have these two things at two different heights. The reason why we want to have two things at two different heights is because we want to get to a point where this power generator is connected to this pylon wirelessly. And there are big benefits to doing that. The first big benefit is they don't need to be close to each other. You can, for instance, have, say, a silo of generators hidden somewhere, and you can then have a number of turrets or anything else you want all around your settlements, all coming from one place, and it just frankly looks nicer. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and collect this pylon to this generator wirelessly. So how do we do that? Well, what you need to do is you need to basically hover over the pylon, but you need to make sure that the wire is the one that's actually highlighted. So this is quite tricky to explain, but I'll do my best. You want to make sure that your mouse cursor is physically over the pylon. So there, as you can see, it's highlighted, so it's over it. But you want to get to a state where it's over the pylon, but the wire itself is highlighted. Once you've done that, go ahead and press the attach wire button. So when the pylon is highlighted, the attach wire button is visible on the screen. But obviously when it isn't highlighted, the button isn't visible on the screen, but it is still there. So go ahead and press the button. And if you press it, you should hear that sort of audio cue telling you it's done. Now what you need to do is connect it to this generator. But what we're going to do, and this is why we have this at different heights, why we have this at a higher height than here, is because we want the wire to actually cross over the power generator. So right here, the power generator is highlighted. What I want to do is actually have my mouse cursor sort of on the power generator, but the wire should be highlighted like this. And if you do it right, you should see this. The wire will basically jump from the power conduit to the power generator instead. Now what we're going to do is move this conduit. And as a result of moving, notice that the wire has basically jumped back from here to the conduit. And now this is important. We're going to go ahead and store this wire. Now it may not look it, but this generator is actually wirelessly connected to this power conduit right now, or rather this power pylon right now. So let's go ahead and prove it. What I'm going to do is put the power generator right over here. And now what I'm going to do is basically perform the same trick using some defense turret that actually needs power. So this one, for instance. So this is a laser turret and it needs a power of two. So right now it doesn't have any power, which makes total sense. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and repeat this exact same step. So I'm going to go ahead, connect this uh, pylon to this conduit. And now I'm going to connect this conduit by again highlighting the wire or rather I'm going to connect this pylon by highlighting the wire and not the pylon itself and I'm going to attach it to this thing the turret but I'm going to make sure that the turret isn't highlighted the wire is instead and I notice that this thing now has power but as you can see nor is this pylon nor is this turret actually uh, aesthetically or visually connected to any power it isn't but it, in reality it is, it is connected to this wirelessly. So now what we're going to do is again, move this conduit and again, the wire jumps and we're just going to go ahead and store it. And now again, notice that this thing is connected to this pylon and so is the generator. Now again, just to prove it's all actually uh, legit working, we're going to do this one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, craft another laser turret. And again, notice that this one has power of two and it's probably worth noting that a generator that uh, this generator produces a power of three. So I've got a total of three power. This has two on it. This has none. So again, we're going to go ahead and repeat the process. So from the pylon, connect the wire to the conduit 
and then again from the pylon by highlighting the cable itself connect it to the torrent but again we're going to highlight the wire and do it and now we're going to move this conduit and then we're going to store the wire again notice that this doesn't have any power this does and that's because we don't have enough power we've only got a power of three right so we're going to go ahead and put the torrent there and now what i'm going to do is go ahead and generate another generator and i'm going to connect this one to this and the moment we connect this to this this will then be part of this entire chain so before we do that really quickly both of this laser torus and this power generator are connected to this pylon wirelessly but there's not enough power but the moment i connect this to that notice they've both got power now and this is basically uh, the exploit here being able to connect things wirelessly now again you might be thinking again what's the point well the point is this i can now take this turret and put it anywhere I want it really doesn't matter I can sort of uh, just for the sake of argument I'm just gonna try and place it over there okay and now I'm gonna quickly uh, sprint back and I've got another laser turret so again I'll well I won't put it anywhere I think this demonstrates the point and then I can take these uh, generators and I can sort of almost encase them in some protective shield or, or I don't know some wooden structure or something such that they don't get exposed uh, exposed when there's a radar attack so the whole benefit of this is you can now wirelessly connect all manner of things up in your settlement and not really have to uh, be forced or restricted to place things next to each other and this also makes your whole settlement uh, aesthetically look nicer also being able to connect objects in settlements and not being restricted by wire cable length is great however did you know that you can use the resource duplication glitch in Fallout 4 to easily create thousands of resources to help you build objects in your settlements, such as these power generators and laser torus? It is super easy by using this glitch to effectively build thousands and thousands of resources such as copper, plastic and so forth using nothing but a single copper to begin with. Click on the video you see on the screen now and I will show you how you can duplicate resources that you need to build settlements. Click on the video you see on the screen now to find out more.